talking to a few residents and to the amazing volunteers and staff here at this community centre and you know it is an absolute disaster and I'm, I've heard some feedback there are some things I want to go away and make some progress on on behalf of residents but it is heartbreaking. What is it specifically that you've heard from uh, people who've been affected by this? Well you know there's, there's, there's all manner of things but um, essentially what, what I want to do is later this morning have a chat with the chief executive of Kensington and Chelsea Council and just chat through some of the specific feedback but I'd rather not talk about the individual things that people have said to me I think that's you've come here this morning you've spoken to residents why hasn't the Prime Minister come and done that um, the Prime Minister came yesterday to look at the operation to try and make sure that everything that's being done by government that can be done is done why didn't she speak to any residents so people affected by this do you think she lacks humanity which is what's been said about her? No, the Prime Minister is absolutely heartbroken. I mean, I'm here as leader of the Commons on behalf of the Commons. We had an emergency briefing yesterday from the ministers responsible. And, you know, the, the whole sense in the House of Commons is absolute horror and shock. And, you know, I don't, I don't really think it's appropriate to be talking about whether people have humanity or not. This is... But will the Prime Minister come down and speak to, speak to residents and people affected, the victims? Yeah. There's a lot of anger here. You must see that. I think, understandably, people are desperately traumatised and yes, people are angry and that's totally understandable and what we need to do is to get a grip of this and make sure that we're meeting their immediate needs as well as their ongoing needs and that's really the priority for government. You've said you're going to do an inquiry but what else can you do? What reassurances can you give people, for example, that they will get the homes that, that, you've, that you've promised them? What can be done? You haven't got a government yet. Well. Very specifically, we're taking it but day by day. I mean, people at the moment, you know, they need things like to get access to their bank accounts. They need um, overnight accommodation. People need clothing and emergency supplies. You know, there's, there is a sequence. And, and of course, you know, as the government has made clear um, in bringing out Bellwin, which basically means that um, money can be provided to deal with emergency matters as well as with ongoing matters. People need counselling. There's this absolute devastation about not knowing who has been affected and so on. I mean, there's, there's any number of immediate pressing issues. But in the longer term, it's absolutely clear, the government's made it absolutely clear that people's housing needs longer term um, will of course be met uh, and that, that's completely clear. But when will the Prime Minister though? Because we've seen that the leader of the Labour Party, Jeremy Corbyn, come down, we see him hugging residents and victims. We haven't seen any of that from any of your party. Well, as I say, we had an emergency briefing for all members of the House of Commons. But, but are there plans for the Prime Minister to come down and speak to residents, actually directly, and hear their stories? The Prime Minister has been incredibly closely following exactly what's happening. She is trying to get the government to roll into action as fast as possible to deal with the immediate issues. She was here yesterday. We need the government the first for that though, don't you? I mean, we've got a long way to go to well, we're in we that position. That, that will be next week. The Queen's speech is on Wednesday announced yesterday and it's absolutely clear that we need to do everything we can to deal with the immediate problems now and ongoing as the Prime Minister has said there will be a public inquiry we will get to the bottom of this people are angry they will need answers they'll need to be some closure on this but at the moment it's incredibly raw and incredibly of the moment and we just need to make sure that we're meeting all of the immediate needs of people who've been affected. Do you agree you could have handled this better? You know I think this is an absolute tragedy and there's always things that we all wish I'd said this or done that but you know in reality as I said every single member of the House of Commons um, every member of the government from the Prime Minister downwards are absolutely horrified by what's happened and we're all trying to do the best we can you still haven't answered the question will the Prime Minister be coming here to speak to residents and victims directly you know the Prime Minister is doing everything she can. I'm sure if, if, if it's felt that that will be helpful, then she will do that. But at the same time, there are some very practical needs that must be met here for residents who've been affected and for their families. So is that not a priority then for the Prime Minister to come and speak to people directly? I think that would give people a lot of reassurance. You must meet the victims who are here and behind yeah. you. Yep. Yeah. What would you like to say? Well, at, least she, at least she could have met the victims, at least. Corbyn, Corbyn is a good man and he met them. He came and met the people. He didn't come with a bunch of police and not even no one saw her. 
What would you say to that, Ms. Letton? Um, you know, I, as I say, I, I've come here today because I wanted to meet residents. I wanted to share the absolute sorrow and horror of everyone in the House of Commons, from the so Prime no Minister down. He's asking why no one, no one else come here. Why, why not the Prime Minister or other people from your party? Well, I know there've been a number of visits. I'm, I'm not entirely sure but I know that various ministers have been here and I think a number have tried to come here more privately to try and talk to residents and to try and give practical support and and that I'm sure will continue you can you can we yeah, have there's a question why why privately basically yeah why has Sadiq Khan Corbyn have come down here not with all the stunt of bodyguards and police they've come down here and spoke to people and actually down to level why is Theresa May coming here with a load of police walking around not meeting no one not meeting a family who is now at the Westway Centre there's victims there is there anyone from your party there you've come down here were you sent here or have you decided to come here on your own um, I, I've come here as leader of the House of Commons to represent the House of Commons which is for all members of Parliament um, this emergency briefing we had yesterday you could absolutely feel the sympathy and the horror and the real sense of tragedy and I think MPs right now from the government down to the newest backbenchers are just desperately wanting to help residents here so I've come myself today to try and understand if there's any practical support that I can give in trying to uh, trying to move things on to deal with the immediate problems. You're, you're hearing here this man here said it's not enough woman here yeah. saying that these private meetings are no good there's a lot of anger what's being done to reassure people? Well, I've, I've had some um, discussions with um, residents today and I've heard a number of specific pieces of feedback about individual cases and more general points which I want to take away and go and make some action on. You must, you must sense the anger. You must I sense the anger. I absolutely do and I totally understand it. I mean, it is devastating, absolutely devastating and of course I do sense the anger and I'm completely sympathetic. I, utterly understand how appalling this you is. You know right that this could have been stopped, you know that right? That you know this fire yeah. could have been stopped long, long, long time ago because this block and every single other block in this area is suffering the same way. Suffering the exact same way. Yeah. There is basic stuff, there's not even sprinklers in there. Yeah. That could have cost £200,000 just to do that. They had £10 million to spend. They spent £8.6 million. Where is the rest of the money? I mean, you know, as the Prime Minister has said, there will be a full public inquiry. As we discussed yesterday, it's also vital that we look at what can be done in the very early short-term period to look at if there are things that need to be checked. I know in, in, in Northamptonshire, for example, my own Chief Fire Officer is going to check every high-rise building in terms of fire safety. There's a lot of fire officers around the country again to make sure that this couldn't happen again but it doesn't help uh, Grenfell Tower. Will, will there be money, will, you, you've touched on something very important here, will there be money made available for sprinklers? You know, it's, the, pot, the, the um, ministers are looking very carefully at all of the implications, whether there are quick wins that can be done and in which case they will be done and of course the longer term policies but in the very short term I know as I say that there are fire officers all around the country looking very closely to make sure that nothing like this could happen again in the short term. Why do you think the Thank public you. inquiry is going to help anything? I mean there's a public inquiry after Lackanall and they took place four years ago and no, a lot of these issues came yeah. out then, nothing was acted upon on the recommendations from Governor Kirkham, why should anyone be confident that another inquiry will stop this ever happening again? You know, as the Prime Minister said yesterday, people will want answers. People mm -hmm. will want to understand what happened, um, what can be done, mm -hmm. and it's absolutely vital that we get to the bottom of it. I, d I don't think, I mean, it's always difficult, of course it is, but you know, we do need to know exactly what happened. A lot of people have lost their lives. There's really grieving and traumatised relatives. They want to know what happened. People want answers now, yeah. not in two months. Yeah. Not in three months, not in a year's time. Yeah. 2009, I do 2009, understand. the last block was on yeah. fire. What has changed since then? Sp Nothing. Sprinkles I'll tell you one more thing that I don't know if everyone knows. The other tower in Westbourne Grove mm. in April had two sets of stores. I've got friends living in there and it was set on fire. What happened then? Yeah. We said, oh, they're going to look at it. They're going to do sort it out. Nothing's been done. We've been hearing the same thing. Now it's enough. Enough is enough. I've got friends in that tower. I have a right to be angry. I can I've got friends in there. Yeah. Because of people 
saving money, people are dying. Yeah, well, you know, that, that's why it will be so important to get to the bottom of what happened. That's going to take too long though, isn't it, Miss Lodson? It's just going to take far too long for people here. And, and we're on the verge. We're on the verge of some serious anger in the streets. Yeah. yeah. No, I, and I am. Um, I absolutely understand it. I can see it, and I'm deeply, deeply sorry on behalf of all of my colleagues in the House of Commons, sending our greatest sympathy. And I, as I say, I want to go away and take some actions, make some progress on anything that I can today. And you've Thank been here you. for over an hour, and you've Thank made you. the effort. When will we see the Prime Minister do the same? I'm. Um, you know, mm -hmm. I'm absolutely Has sure. Has this affected our leadership? No, uh, the Prime mistake? Minister is trying to get a grip on this and to provide to that go. practice. Would you have done a better job as leader? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Excuse me.